Whoa, G Funky Boxing. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Jesse Bam Rodriguez versus Christian Gonzalez. Jesse Bam Rodriguez gets the unanimous decision. I agree with the judges. I had a nine rounds of three. Um, I just heard the post fight interview. He said that he got his jaw broken round six. I guess he got hit with his mouth open and yeah that's exactly why he should be biting down on that mouthpiece the whole time but uh look this is a clear win for uh bam rodriguez now gonzalez did a lot of moving and it really wasn't for his benefit man he just you know moved just to go the distance man and you know they kept talking about how they were asking him you know hey do you think you have a shot to win here in bam's hometown and he said no i gotta knock him out well you didn't try very hard to knock anybody out tonight, my man. I mean, you did a lot of moving, and you rarely sat down on a punch. A majority of your punches were done on the move, so there was not a lot of power in them. So I don't know how you expect to hurt someone or to stop them when you rarely sat down on a punch and, and put some good heat behind it. Um, but Bam, I felt that I mean, he was doing a really good job of, of coming forward, applying pressure, working to the head, to the body. Showed good upper body movement as well. His footwork is phenomenal. I mean, this kid is, is one of the best pure boxers and all-around fighters in, in the game right now. Jesse Bam Rodriguez. And he picks up another world title. The young, Now he's, again, the youngest champion in boxing after he moved down when he was uh, at 115. And now he comes back down. He's a WBO champ. So congratulations to him. Gets the win. Gets the job done. And, you know, I think it's going to be hard, man, for someone to beat him at this weight class. I, I, I don't know who can give him a challenge, to be quite honest with you. So, you know, we'll see what they do, man. I'm excited for him. I think he's going to be a top dog for a lot of years in these lower weight classes. And, you know, he's still young, so he's got a lot of time to grow still into his body. And he's going to be moving up in weight you know, within the next few years. And then, then we'll get to see some more uh, challenging fights for him, I believe. But... Uh, yeah, he's, he's going to be tough to beat, man. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. This is G-Funky Boxing. I'm out.